Saving 20% of your income can shave two decades off your necessary working years. So it doesn't really require a huge sacrifice because after all, once you get to retirement, you no longer need to save for retirement. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Erin and welcome back to Erin Talks Money. Now, saving money is something we all know that we should be doing, but it's not always easy with debts and the rising cost of housing and the fact that the cost of living is increasing every year and outpacing wage increases. So putting money aside is not always easy to do. In fact, only 11% of companies give an annual cost of living raise. That used to be standard practice back in the day, but now it's all but fallen to the wayside. That means every year, your income is actually decreasing where your purchasing power is decreasing because the cost of everything around you is going up, but your income isn't. Now I know it's a grim picture to paint, but saving money matters. Saving money so that you can one day not be financially reliant on your nine to five job is the ultimate goal for most people. But most Americans struggle to save. In fact, 69% of Americans save 10% or less of their income. In fact, the average American only saves 5% of their income. And you know, if you're saving just 5% of your income, it is going to take a long time to be financially independent. Let's say you have an income of $70,000, of which you save 5%, which would be $3,500. So every year you're investing $3,500 and getting an 8% return. How long would you have to do this in order to build up a nest egg large enough in order to withdraw $70,000 every year in income? The answer is 48 years. That's an incredibly long time. That means if you were to start saving this $3,500 or 5% of your income at the age of 20, you would have to do that until the age of 68 before you could consider retiring. But that's not too far off from the trend we're actually seeing with retirees. Slowly but surely, the average age for retirement is increasing every year. Back in the early 1990s, we saw that the average age of retirement was just 57 years old. Fast forward to 2000, the average age was 60 years old. And now 20 years later in 2020, the average age for retirement is 64 years old. So seeing an average age for retirement of 68 is not that inconceivable. In fact, currently 15% of 70 year olds are still employed in the workforce. However, back in 2000, only 5% of 70 year olds continued to work. But what would happen if you were able to save 10% of your income rather than 5%? Let's run the numbers and find out. Again, we're gonna assume you have an income of $70,000. So if you're saving 10% of that, that means you're putting away $7,000 every year. Effectively, that means you're living on $63,000. So assuming you get well accustomed to living on an income of $63,000, I'm going to assume that that's the income you would need to withdraw on in retirement. Because after all, once you get to retirement, you no longer need to save for retirement. So how long would it take you to become financially independent? Well, after 38 years of saving and investing and getting an 8% return, you would have a nest egg of about $1.6 million, which according to the rule of 4% would allow you to withdraw $63,000 to maintain your standard of living. 38 years, that's a full 10 years sooner than if you were just to save 5% of your income. So that means if you can find a way just to save an additional 5%, just 5% of your income, you can retire a full 10 years sooner. So rather than waiting until 68 to retire, our financially astute 20 year old, this time who started saving 10% of his income and did that throughout the course of his life would now be aiming to retire at just 58 years old. That means that they would actually be an early retiree by today's standards. But let's not stop there. Let's run one more set of numbers. After all, the average financial advisor in America recommends that people put away anywhere from 15 to 20% of their income towards retirement. Of course, that's not really the reality we're seeing, but that is the standard recommendation. 
After all, if you look at the numbers, you would find that only 16% of Americans are actually putting away 15% or more of their income towards retirement. So obviously that does mean it takes a rare bird in order to put away that 20%. But nonetheless, we're gonna assume that you can do it. So again, we're gonna start with that income of $70,000, of which this time you're saving 20%. That means you're putting $14,000 away into investments every single year. So effectively, you're living on $56,000 a year. I'll assume you're very comfortable living on $56,000 a year as that's what you did every year during your working career, so that would be the amount you would want to withdraw in retirement. After all, once again, once you hit retirement, there's no need to continue saving for retirement. So with all that said, investing $14,000 a year, how long would it take you to reach financial independence and be able to retire assuming an 8% return? Well, the answer is 28 years. After 28 years, you would have a portfolio of $1.4 million, which according to the rule of 4%, would be capable of generating $57,000 so you could certainly maintain your standard of living. 28 years. That means that if our financial whiz kids started saving for retirement at the age of 20 and did that for a full 28 years, saving 20% of their income, they could retire at the ripe young age of 48 years old. By saving a full 20% of your income, rather than the typical 5% of the average American, you can retire a full 20 years sooner than the average person. Imagine what you could do with an extra 20 years in retirement. Now, saving 20% of your income doesn't require drastic changes to your lifestyle. In fact, that's just what every financial advisor recommends that every single American do. People a part of the FIRE community actually end up saving usually 50 to even 70% of their income. And you know if you're saving 50 or 70% of your income, that requires a lot of sacrifice and a lot of frugality. However, you could easily save 20% of your income by simply watching your lifestyle. Like when you get your first job, don't increase your standard of living all that much bank the pay that you get or every time that you get a raise you could just marginally increase your lifestyle increase your savings at the same time so it doesn't really require a huge sacrifice now there are some very important assumptions that i made in my calculations that are definitely worth noting chief among them being that i assumed that our worker wanted to continue living off the income she had grown accustomed to not her actual earned income for example, we said that she earned $70,000 a year, but when she was saving 20%, $14,000 went right into savings, so she was never spending that, and she was living fully off $56,000 a year. Once you get to retirement, and as I noted previously in the video, you're done saving for retirement. All your saving and hard work is done. You don't have to save anymore once you hit retirement. So assuming our girl is very happy and content to continue living off $56,000 as she had always done during her working career, this is the income that she would want to draw on in retirement. However, if she did want that full $70,000 as an income in retirement, she would have to work for 31 years instead of 28. A small difference, but a difference worth noting nonetheless. If we were to consider our example of saving 10% of her income, she would have to work for 39 years as opposed to the stated 38 if she wanted that full $70,000. Granted, these are still far and away light years sooner than if you're just saving 5% of your income. It's still nine years sooner if you're saving 10% of your income and you reach financial independence 17 years sooner if you're saving 20% of your income. But again, still worth noting. Now, of course, just because you reach financial independence at an earlier age, say like 50, it doesn't mean you have to retire. You certainly could continue working if that's what you want to do. But work does become more enjoyable when you get to work because you want to rather than because you have to. And I know saving money can be difficult. Make no mistake about it. Saving money is hard and it does require some sacrifice. However, I'm hoping knowing that saving 20% of your income can shave off two decades of your working career 
can actually incentivize you to save more money. You get to choose. Do you want to save money or do you want to work for the rest of your life? You can retire before the age of 50 or you can work until you're 70. The choice is yours. How much you want to save, how long you want to work, that's all up to you. But just know that saving 20% of your income can shave two decades off your necessary working years. To me, that's an incredible point to drive home. I hope you guys got something out of this video. As always, I always recommend saving for your retirement. I always recommend the companies Vanguard or Fidelity. They have great fee structures, great customer service. They're absolutely wonderful. I have a link down below for both. They are not affiliate links. You're welcome to use them if you want. Otherwise, just type it into your browser. Again, I totally recommend Vanguard and Fidelity. Get to saving. The earlier you save, the earlier you can retire, the earlier you can be financially independent. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. Please hit that like button on the way out. Ring the subscribe bell so you're notified every time I post a new money video. I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.